Hello everyone and welcome to St. Peter's Eaton Square Nativity Film. I'm very excited to introduce our nativity this year. We have many children and a few adults taking part and I know you're going to enjoy it very much. I am Reverend Julie and I am the director of the nativity film this year. And I think we will begin today by introducing to you two very important film critics who have agreed to come along and to watch our film and give us a bit of a review afterwards. So please do sit back and enjoy St. Peter's Eaton Square Nativity. Hello and thank you for inviting me. I've been looking forward to this film all week. I'm so excited. I've got my popcorn ready. Let's sit back. Break a leg everybody. story to tell you and I am going to need your help. Don't forget about me! I do apologise. This is my sister Little Moon. She will be tagging along with me today to help us tell the story. Now let's hear from the others. Hello, my name is Casey the Camel. As you may expect, I love to go on long walks through the desert so I often see things that others do not. And do you know what I saw? It is far too amazing to convey in words alone. So sit back, Relax, and I will show you. Our story begins about nine months ago. Scarlett, Claudia, and I were out in the desert, minding our own business, twinkling, shining, and hovering, and we witnessed an amazing event. Hi, everyone. As you might have guessed, my name is Claudia, and I'm a cloud. And being a cloud, I have a special sight that helps me to perceive that something amazing is about to happen. And here it is unfolding before us. Oi, have you seen such a mess? I spent all day cleaning and this still isn't clean. This sand never quirks. Oh, stop complaining. We have it easy compared to most folks. All they have to do is organise a funeral worship, clean up the incredible building, and the occasional statement. Well, that's easy for you to say. It's me that does all the work. Shh. 
saw my ear. Oh, hello. You might remember the Virgins from the church. We're here to make sure the children tell a good story. I apologise for the interruption. Please let me continue. One evening, I saw the most beautiful angel coming down from the sky. The angel Gabriella flew beside me and then floated down to earth. She had been sent from heaven to go to a woman called Mary, who had recently been engaged to a man called Joseph, a carpenter. I have been sent by God with this message. You are highly favoured of the Lord and he is with you. You are blessed among women. What do you mean me? But I'm only a girl. Do not, Do not be afraid. afraid. Mary, Angel Gabriel, has a message for you. Mary, you have found favour with God and you will have a baby boy He will, and he will be called Jesus, the firstborn of all creation. that night to assure her that everything was okay. I could see that Mary was looking up to me from her window so I tried to smile to help her feel better. Mary knew that Angel Gabriella had been sent by God but she was still a bit nervous about telling others. She had her cousin in the neighbouring town named Elizabeth. She knew she could trust her with the news so decided to pay her a visit. My cousin Mary, is that you? It is so wonderful to see you. It has been many months, possibly a year, we since we last met. Come in, please make yourself comfortable and have some tea and cakes. Thank you, cousin Elizabeth. I feel so blessed to see you. I have some amazing news I must tell someone and I immediately thought of you. I know you would understand just how I'm feeling. I am so glad you came to me, Mary. What is the amazing news you have for me? Wait before you tell me. You must sit down and relax, for you look exhausted. I have made my best raisin and plum cake. I know you will want to try. Thank you, Elizabeth. This is the best cake I've ever had. It is exactly what I need, needed. Now I must tell you my news. The other day I was doing my daily work and a glorious angel suddenly appeared before me. She told me that very soon, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I will be give, I will give birth to a baby. His name will be Jesus and he will be the saviour of the world. I'm happy but also scared. Mary, this is the most glorious news for you are blessed among all the women. I too am pregnant by a miracle. And when you told me this news, a baby leapt in my womb. This is truly a sign that God is at work. Very soon the Saviour will be born and the whole world will rejoice. How does Joseph feel about this news? Well, to be honest, I haven't told him yet. I wonder what he'll think. I'm only a camel and don't know much about these things. 
but I imagine that Mary's news will be quite a difficult thing to explain to Joseph. I think it's time for another visit from Gabriella. I got a funny feeling something very important is going to happen. I wonder what it shall be. Do not be afraid, Joseph. Can you hear me? Don't be afraid for what I have to say is a wonderful miracle from God. Mary will be soon expecting a child and this child is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and he will be called Jesus and will save the world and bring new and everlasting life. Let it happen according to God's will. And even through my thick dark willows, I can see that Joseph is a good man. After this amazing encounter with Angel Gabriel, Mary and Joseph were soon married. They were very happy and it was soon time for Jesus to be born. But there was one problem. I could see from my high vantage point that they could not stay in their home in Nazareth. Why not? I the answer to this one. The Romans wanted the people to return to the town of their ancestors to help them sort out their taxes. And so Mary and Joseph had to travel all the way to Bethlehem. I had hoped they'd choose me to travel with them, but they chose a lowly donkey instead. Hey! You are going to call us lonely. We are very important to the story. We are... As those silly donkeys were running off, they saw two children playing nearby. Do you see those donkeys? They were running so fast and I think they were talking, but they couldn't have been, could they? Wow, there'd be some amazing things happening. I don't think about very born child, but to be born. I think it may be king. A newborn king? Really? Maybe those donkeys know this king? Nah, I doubt it. They only seem like ordinary donkeys to me, and only ordinary babies are born in this part of the world. It could be that at this point, the newborn king is going to be as ordinary as I am, or even you. They can teach you for me, let come play. And so, Mary, Joseph and the donkeys were off to Bethlehem. But before they arrive, let's meet some very unusual, but very important people to our story. Taxation's good for business. There are lots of people on the internet. Yes, we are completely full. Even the small single room in the basement is taken. Good evening. We're looking for a room for the night. I'm afraid we're fully booked. It's our busy season. Is there really nothing available? I'm expecting my first baby and we have nowhere to stay. Please let them stay. We are exhausted. <sighs> 
Maybe we can find you something. I wish I can help, but I just don't have another room. There is a stable around the back. It's not ideal as it's for of spiders, mice and bugs. But at least they'll be warm. They will be very cosy. Wow, what a mess. This stable needs a good clean. Yeah, it really is dirty. You can't save the world in the morning to waste mice, bats and rats. I think I'll have to clean to do an extra hour this week. Cleaner and supervisor began to clean up the mess to make room for Mary and Joseph. We turn for a moment to the hard-working yet grumpy companions. I guess this means we are staying here for the night. At least the long journey's over. Uh -uh. Yes. I am glad. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but Mary is, after all, nine months pregnant, and she is very heavy. We both deserve a good rest. What can you do? They are, after all, donkeys. I've said all along that they should have chosen me for the journey. I'm much more elegant. Well, it won't be long before I make another appearance. I'll soon begin a long journey with two of my cousins. We will carry three very important wise men. They will wear beautiful robes and bring rare and expensive gifts to baby Jesus. You must excuse me, for I am getting ahead of myself. This won't happen for a little while yet. But today we have something very important to celebrate. They will certainly like to talk, don't they? Now, where were we? Oh yes, the stable was clean and warm. The donkey settled down to sleep and Mary and Joseph settled down to rest. And later that night, as the stars shone brightly, Mary gave birth to a baby boy and called him Jesus. There was no crib, so just as the angel had said, Mary wrapped him in a swaddling cloth and put him in the manger. On this very special night, all heaven rejoices for the Saviour of the baby is Saviour of the world. Saviour of the world, the boy is born. Um, his name is Jesus. He's the Prince of Peace. On this very special night, all heaven rejoices for the very as the baby of the is, world as the world is born. Uh, his name is Jesus, and he's the Prince of Peace. A long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible says. said I really am blessed among all women. We will name him Jesus and he shall be the saviour of the world. I'm so happy to be Jesus guardian, guardian angel. I will watch him tonight as he sleeps. A long time ago in Bethlehem So the Holy Bible say Mary's boy child Jesus Christ Was born on Christmas
Thank you, Fiona. That was a beautiful song. Indeed, this is a special night. But before we continue with this story, there's just one thing that I need to say. There's far too many people and animals in this stable. And look at all this hay. It is a mess, but a lot more work for us. We have to remember, clean for a newborn king is a way of giving glory to God. Well, let's get started right away. As Mary and Joseph were admiring Jesus, as the angels were singing and the vergers were working, a young shepherd girl and her little brother were helping their parents do the chores in a nearby home. Oh, I'm tired of all these chores. I think I deserve a break. I need some time to simply have fun. I think I'll go to town and see what's happening. Me too. Can I come with you? No, I'd rather be alone. Please. Okay, fine. But you must do exactly what I say and not complain. It certainly seems to be busy in town today. I wonder what's going on. Let her we and see. Is that an angel I see in the sky? It couldn't be, could it? I don't know, but we'd better go home. Outside Bethlehem, a group of humble shepherds were watching their sheep. And I was doing my best to shine my brightest light so they could see. <laughs> oh, she. Oh, she. Bye. Very busy down in Bethlehem tonight. I was there earlier today. There are people going and coming in every direction. I never seen it so busy. What a beautiful night! I love the stars. Yes, I agree. It is so lovely. Look at all those stars. The sky is so bright, you can see the light for miles. Look at the big bright star in the sky, Ba-a. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I see a little with a... <laughs> in 
the beauty right here and I might stay awake all night. As the shepherds speak amongst each other, the angel Gabriella of all the angels fly down from the heavens above. What is that light light? It's me, I hear something. Can anyone help hear anything? I hear something. I hear beautiful music. It's getting brighter. It's getting louder. What is it? It's getting closer. Don't be afraid, for we have to come with good news of peace and joy. This night in Bethlehem, a baby boy has been born, who is Christ the Lord. You, you will find him safely with his mother and father. He will be wrapped up in a swaddling cloth and lying in a To see. Stay quickly and find Jesus. I am the oldest and the wisest shepherd in all Bethlehem. In all my days, I've never seen such an amazing sight as this. Because I'm the wisest shepherd, the angels have given me a very special task. I am to lead all the shepherds and their sheep to find a very special baby who has been born to give us all new life. And so the wise shepherd led the other shepherds along with their sheep on the journey to the stable. And when they arrived, they found Mary Joseph and the baby Jesus, just as the angel had said. This is how our version of the first Christmas went. And Casey, Scarlett and I all thank you for all, you, all your help in telling this amazing story. But before we go on our way to prepare for the next part of the story, please join us for one final scene. We will hear from our critics. I wonder how they liked the film. <laughs> well done everyone, that was amazing, definitely the best film I've seen all year, thumbs up from me. Absolutely excellent, can't wait to get home and watch it again. I'm not sure about the theological cohesiveness of the play, but it was certainly fun. Well done everyone. Wow, I think this is the best nativity I have ever seen. It will definitely feature in the magazine. Well done. Well, I certainly agree with our two film critics and our resident theologian and administrator that this is the best nativity that I have ever seen and the best nativity film as well. Thank you so much to all of the children and to the adults who participated. You all did a wonderful job and I enjoyed watching it very much. Thank you too to Andrew Sackett and Fiona Hims for providing the music. In a moment, we will end our film by a wonderful group song that Andrew helped us put together, See Him Lying. And it will be a wonderful way to end today's nativity. Thank you for joining us and for all who are watching. And I hope that you all have a lovely and blessed Christmas. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, oh.
Sing the glory of God's gracious plan Sing the birth